complex numbers or may radical. So, ang goal ng rationalizing or pag-rationalize ng fraction is to get rid of the radical symbol or yung square root dun sa denominator nyo. And to do that, for example, meron tayong 3 over square root of 3. So, kailangan natin siyang irrationalize at kailangan natin matanggal yung radical symbol dun sa denominator. And to do that, we multiply 3 over square root of 3 by square root of 3 over 3. Yung kung ano yung radical number dito sa denominator, yun yung gagawin mong factor para ma-eliminate yung radical symbol. And by doing that, 3 times square root of 3 is simply 3 square root of 3 at saka square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give you square root of 9. At alam natin yung square root of 9 is 3, so meron tayo ngayon yung 3 square root of 3 over 3 and by simplifying our fraction, square root of 3 na lang siya. So ngayon makikita nyo wala ng radical yung denominator. So na-rationalize natin yung fraction. So from 3 over square root of 3, meron ka na ngayong square root of 3. At yung number 2 naman, 2 square root of 5, or 2 over square root of 5, yung radical niya sa denominator is square root of 5. So multiply nyo lang yung numerator and denominator ng square root of 5 para ma-eliminate yung radical symbol. So you have 2 square root of 5 kasi 2 times square root of 5 is 2 square root of 5. And square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25, which gives you 2 over, or 2 square root of 5 over 25. Now, since hindi mo naman pwedeng i-simplify yung 2 and 25, so ito na yung rationalized fraction, fraction nyo. Wala nang radical, so na-rationalize nyo na siya. At again, it, kailangan nyo to para makapagsagot ng mga uh, problems involving trigonometry. Now, meron tayo ditong uh, right triangle at isa sa mga popular na formula or mnemonic device as trigonometry is yung SOKATOA. Pero ano nga ba yung SOKATOA at bakit natin kailangan malaman yung SOKATOA? Yung SOKATOA nang galing yan sa right triangle, sa hypotenuse, opposite side, and adjacent side. So ito yung um, triangle natin at ito yung reference angle natin. So importante na alam nyo yung reference angle at alam nyo kung anong angle yung tinitingnan nyo sa bawat problem sa trigonometry. And in this case, ito yung angle mo at kung ito yung angle mo, yung hypotenuse mo will still be the longest side of the triangle. At yung opposite side nitong angle na to is itong leg ng triangle nyo. At ito naman yung magiging adjacent kasi adjacent right next to the reference angle. And opposite kasi opposite side ng right triangle. Now kung napapansin nyo itong pangalawang triangle na to, parehas lang siya. Right triangle siya parehas, pero yung reference angle niya nag-iba. So, pag nag-iba na yung reference angle niyo, yung opposite at yung adjacent niyo, mag-iiba din. Pero yung hypotenuse will still be the same. Yung adjacent niyo will be this side of the triangle. At ito na ngayon yung bago yung opposite side. So, ano ba yung mga trigonometric ratio? So, yung mga trig ratio, for sine, we have opposite over hypotenuse. For cosine, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. And yung tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, bakit kailangan natin malaman itong mga ratio na to? Kasi ito yung mga formula na kailangan yung matandaan kapag nagsusolve tayo ng mga um, trigonometric problem involving right triangle. So, ang mnemonic device na gagamitin natin is so ka toa kasi sine is opposite over hypotenuse, ka is cosine equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and toa, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. At ito naman yung mga inverse niya. So, yung inverse ng sine is cosecant, inverse ng cosine is secant, and inverse ng tangent is cotangent. So, kung ang inverse nila, eh dito sa given um, trig ratio na to, kunin nyo lang yung reciprocal ng bawat ratio at yun na yung inverse ng sine, cosine, and tangent. So, meron kang hypotenuse over oppos opposite, hypotenuse over adjacent, and adjacent over hypotenuse para sa inverse niya. So, again, Itong formula na to ay kailangan yung tandaan kung magsosolve kayo ng mga problems involving trigonometry. At ano-ano ba yung mga problems ng trigonometry na pwede natin gamitan yan? Halimbawa, meron tayong triangle at kailangan natin magsolve ng side ng given triangle, given two sides and one angle. So, makukuha natin yung answer using this formula. Magkakunta ng mga examples nito later on. So, ito naman yung example niya kung saan gagamitin natin yung SOKATOA or yung formula ng pagkuha ng trig ratio. 
So, ang given problem is to find the six trig ratio for the given angle. At ito yung triangle, triangle na gagamitin natin, at ito yung given angle. So, ang unang step na kailangan nyo gawin is kailangan alam nyo yung mga parts ng triangle associated dun sa mga numbers na given. Like yung 5, alam natin yung 5 is the hypotenuse, yung 4 is your opposite side, and 3 will be your adjacent side. So, Kung gagamitin natin yung formula, makukuha natin yung 6 trig ratio kasi given lahat ng side ng triangle. So for sine theta, we know sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite side is just 4. So 4 yung numerator nyo at yung hypotenuse is 5. So 5 yung denominator. So sine theta is equal to 4 over 5 using the 6 trig ratio which is yung sa sine nga is opposite over hypotenuse. So yung cosine, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta is equal to 3 over 5. And yung tangent theta naman is opposite over adjacent. So it's just 4 over 3. Now pag kukunin yung mga inverse trig function, which is yung inverse ng sine is reciprocal or yung cosecant theta which is inverse ng sine, eh reciprocal lang ng 4 over 5. Kaya yung cosecant theta mo is hypotenuse over opposite so, 5 over 4 yung cosecant, which is yung inverse or reciprocal ng sine theta. So, kunin nyo lang yung mga reciprocal nitong uh, trig function na to. So, makukuha mo na si secant theta, which is 5 over 3, cotangent theta, which is 3 over 4. So, yan yung isa sa mga applications ng SOKATOA kung saan kailangan mong hanapin yung 6 trig ratio given na yung triangle nyo, eh, yung mga, miss, yung mga sides, eh, given lahat. So, walang missing side. So, paano naman kung missing side? 